Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a voltage meter just using LEDs and resistors. And the way this works is every LED has a set voltage drop, red being 1.8, orange or yellow being around 1.9, and green being around 2 volts. With that information you can place a number of LEDs in series to achieve a set voltage drop for them to turn on. Okay, so I've added the first leg of this circuit and I have two red LEDs in series with a resistor. And the voltage across that resistor and those LEDs right now is 1.4 volts. And if I turn this up to around 2 or 3.2 volts, they turn on slightly. And if I go up to the 3.6, they're definitely visibly on and anything above that they will stay on. Don't want to take it too high or they'll get damaged. So, let's add another leg. Alright, so I added another leg which consists of three red LEDs and they start turning on right at the 5 volt level there and they get pretty bright closer to 6. Now, if you have a white LED or a blue LED you can make this a little brighter at uh, the 5 volt level. There you go. So it turns on at around 4 volts and then gets to a decent light level at 5 volts. Now, if you wanted to add another leg to this, I'd recommend putting a Zener diode, a 5 volt Zener diode, across the first two legs. So 5 volts is the maximum voltage these ones could see because as soon as you start taking it up to 12 volts, you're going to start damaging these LEDs. Now they probably won't burn out right away, but over time, if you kept using it on a 12 volt source or something like that, you're going to burn out the red LEDs long before they're supposed to. So I'd get a 5 volt zener and place it in this circuit. All right, so I've added the final leg of this voltage sensor. All right, so that turns on at the 3.6, the 5, and finally the 12. Now I'll show you a schematic of this circuit. Okay, so here's the schematic of the circuit I just showed you on the breadboard. This section here is the 12 volt leg with a limiting resistor here, just so I don't burn them up if I exceed the 12 volt range. And then here's a resistor and Zener diode. So there's a voltage divider going on here. So the maximum potential that's allowed at this point here is 5 volts or a little above. And then we have the 3.6 volt leg here with another limiting resistor and then here's the 5 volt leg here with a limiting resistor. Clearly you could use a Zener diode in place of half of these green LEDs but I just thought it was interesting that you could use almost exclusively just use LEDs and resistors to make a voltage meter and there is a great benefit of this voltage meter you don't require any internal voltage to control it but it does draw more current than a standard DMM voltage meter. This draws, when it's taking in 12 volts, it draws 40 milliamps, which isn't too bad. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.